All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today's a 3 versus 3 on uh, No Wood between our team yellow that consists of Franzies, the Orc, 1, 2, 3, the Undead, and our Night Elf player, the Scourge. And down at the bottom, we have our Teal team that consists of Worker, Foggy, and our Undead player, Happy. And we'll go ahead and speed it on up to the 8x mark. Two minute point of the game when all the heroes come out all the good stuff starts to happen and a whole mess of chat going off and been a while since i casted on no wood been a while since i casted a three versus three as well and I'm gonna be a keeper of the grove for the scourge taking out a peon early in the game keeper of the grove for foggy blade master for worker and death knight Four, one, two, three. The worker gets Claws of Attack plus six. Buys the Circle of Nobility as well. So, it's a good start for that Blade Master indeed. Franzies with a Torin Chieftain. A player's forces are under attack. And one, two, three clears out to the little camp. Gets level one and a half. Franzies. The Goblin Merchant picks up Circle of Nobility. And Happy down at the bottom at the other Goblin Merchant. And with a Gloves of Haste from that creep camp. And a whole mess of Skeletal Warriors out. Or one, two, three, and uh, apparently proxy creeping of this camp here, which the Blade Master will steal a kill. Players' forces are under attack. And dust of appearance on the Blade Master. And entanglement. And uh, not the quantum mechanics entanglement, but rather the Keeper of the Grove entanglement. And Blade Master in trouble there loses the Blade Master very early. Dust of Appearance goes off to check for anything crazy going down. Gets a second Gloves of Haste on the Death Knight, a which is not particularly attack. useful on the Death Knight, but uh, sure, why not? Whole mess of attack speed. I don't suppose I would uh, disagree with something like that. And now Entanglement versus Entanglement. Huntress is trying to GG meld, but uh, not working too good on that Entanglement. Foggy and Happy defending against Franzies. Franzies in a bit of trouble here. Entangled and low on health. Will TP on out of there though. A player's forces are under attack. And Death Knight at the Fountain of Health. And not sure if he has. No, does not have Web just yet. And now a big problem coming uh, from the right side here. Happy and Foggy on the way. And that will shoo away Team Yellow for now. And Worker on the other side. Flanking a little bit. And Gloves of Haste dropped for the Blade Master there. And it looks like both Gloves of Haste were dropped for the Blade Master. But he doesn't have any room for them. We'll have to drop his Dust of Appearance. And now 30% increase for that Blade Master with the Claws of Attack. And the Circle of Notability not doing too bad there for Worker. Is under and engagement up at the top here. Happy in a little bit of trouble. But no Entangle there to stop him. Worker on the way, chasing him down, but uh, not doing too well here. We'll run into Players a whole mess of spiders, attack. and we'll have to bail out of there in an attack by the Scourge on Worker's base. And we'll force the cancellation of the Spirit Lodge if Worker is aware of this, and is. And a Shadow Hunter out now for Worker. And Huntress will go down, and I think that was killed by the Keeper of the Grove there. And yeah, indeed it was. There's no experience on the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter going to be in trouble here. An attack going on at the top. But the Shadow Hunter may go down here, holding position on that Huntress. Needs to get that Huntress down. Will not make it. 
We'll lose the Shadow Hunter. And our worker and Foggy run away from the horde that is the yellow team. Tons of headhunters out to somewhat counter the huntresses. This sort of weird as they do melee take additional damage from the huntresses or the headhunters. Players' forces are under attack. Kind of like an eye for an eye situation. Catch 22, what have you. And the Scourge will TP out. As he did force the cancellation of two Spirit Lodges. Mantle of Intelligence plus three dropped on the ground. A Lich could go and grab that. And the Nola over here will go down another circlet of nobility on the ground there and could use up that last salve and does picks up the second circlet and i'll get in the small camp there for the scourge gets close to level three and in fluke of accuracy on the lich this hexed a couple dispels We'll wipe the mana of uh, the Shadow Hunter. And now uh, the Blade Master gonna be in trouble. It has a town portal though, so in case it gets too bad, we'll be able to use that, but uh, we'll wind walk away. And a grunt may not be so lucky. Scourge will finish off that grunt just barely though. Now the worker, worker to Shadow Hunter that is, We'll go down for a second time. Shadow Hunter not doing too hot this game. And Worker will teleport on out of there. Rock Golem Camp for Happy. And the Death Knight trying to stay away, letting this Lich level up a bit. And the Flute of Accuracy gonna do really well for Happy with the high damage of the Crypt Fiends. And has a level one upgrade as well. The player's forces are under attack. with the Claws of Attack plus six, going after the other Rock Golem camp. And does have level two upgrades on his Crypt Fiends. Unfortunately, no Flute of Accuracy. That would be a plus four damage upgrade. Tome of Intelligence and Gloves of Haste. Whole mess of Gloves of Haste dropping this around. And Gloves of Haste on the Lich. Trying to follow the action there. A whole mess of action going on and a huge pile of units from Frenzy and the Scourge moving across the map here towards the base of Worker. And a whole mess of chat the as well talking about expansions. And Granite Golden Camp here for Happy. And a third hero out for him as well, the Crypt Lord. Soaking up all the damage. Granicle and goes down relatively quickly there. Talisman of the Wild has dropped for the Death Knight. And will spawn those. And not sure if that was the greatest usage of that. Perhaps they just wanted to get rid of them. But spawning them too early like that leaves their timer a little bit. A player's forces are wasted, attack. but uh, they do have quite the timer. And Frobogs. Furlbog. I always say that word wrong. I think I kind of read it wrong, I guess. Furlbog. Always want to put that L in there. A little too early. But that happens from time to time. Foggy in a mess situation here is on the right side of the battle though. However, Team Yellow will be sandwiched here soon. Looks like a dragon in the mix here from Franzi summoned. And the Scourge will have to town portal out of here. Franzi's will also town portal out. One, two, three also will town portal. And that will leave quite a bit of lost units there for Team Yellow. But I suppose, I can't really tell who lost more there? A whole mess of corpses, but uh, Team Yellow, while teleporting out, did lose control of their heroes for a moment. So it'll lose a little bit of units.
And tree life coming up here for the Scourge. And Frenzy's proxy creeping without a hero, but probably has two heroes on the map. I don't know what heroes Frenzy's has exactly. It might be just Torrent Chieftain. And TC on the way. And we'll see what drops from the Rock Golem camp for the Torrent Chieftain. The player's forces are under attack. And gonna be a Tome of Intelligence and a Ring of Selling. And Granite Golem for one, two, three. Granite Golem spell immune to the Frost Worm, unable to do too much there. But gonna be a Tome of Strength and another Talisman of the Wild, interestingly enough. Lots of spirit link on the units here, but way too many units for all these spirit walkers to spirit link, apparently. The player's forces are under attack. And scroll of protection casted. It's a good portion of the units, not all of them though. Another scroll of protection casted apparently. And hits another large portion of the units for Team Teal. Dispels going off all over the place here, ripping off that protection. Huntress is going down all over the place. Rip Fiends at plus eight damage with the War Drums and combined with the True Shot Aura. So these are some pretty lethal Crypt Fiends. And I'd really like to see level three on those. Probably be plus, at least plus 10 damage. Could be nine, who knows. Don't have my old vintage 70s calculator with me. And Lich in a bit of trouble here. Get pretty low. Able to make it out though for now. Happy Script Lord of the subject of attack by a whole mess of units. Script Lord will fall. And Death Knight nearly goes down. Town Porter will save him in time. Lich may make it out there and does. And another Kodo Beast goes down for Team Yellow. Scourge is base in trouble. And we'll still have his expansion by the looks of it. And those Crypt are brutal with plus eight damage. They were taking out Huntresses. All kinds of it. Yeah, that's a phrase, all kinds of it. Why not? I get to make it up as I go. I'm allowed to do that. One, two, three will make a sh short stand here. Probably will not last too long. Huntress's gain from the war drum. Fluid of accuracy combo as well. Plus four damage. So much extra damage on this team because of that. Master in big trouble here, 40 health. And Blade Master just barely gonna make it out with less than just about 30 health or so there. And Team Yellow does a pretty good job of holding off for now. And Happy will have to TP out of here. Lich will barely make it out, 25 health. The town is under siege. Lucky indeed. Mantle of Intelligence still chilling. And Ancient of War is pretty pissed at this gold mine, but will not take it down. A player's forces are under attack. And Little Creep can't will go down for Happy. And doubt it will get his heroes any levels. Might have got that Crypt Lord level three, not sure. I kinda doubt it. And not too many creeps left. Little Noel Brute Camp. Little Noel Brute Camp, and I think that might be it on the map. Chance to take out a Kodo Beast there. 
A player's forces are and we'll go for the base instead. And Franzi's now going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Franzi's on the way back. That's that endurance aura and the war drums. We'll move pretty quickly, although the war drums doesn't really increase movement speed, but uh, we're going to call it out nonetheless, because why not? Franzi's heading towards his base. Will Town Portal. No, will teleport with the staff teleportation. And we're stop there. Holds off the Lich for a moment. And all the Berserkers trying to get in on here. And plus six damage on these Berserkers. Not too bad with those war drums. Happy now in a bit of trouble here. We'll have to town portal out and save his three heroes. Fight going on down yonder. One, two, three will be teleporting away from Foggy and Worker. And now the expansion of the Scourge in trouble. Raider up front doing some extra damage to the fortified engine of war. A couple ancient protectors will come up, but uh, don't think they will be completed in time. Player's forces are under attack. One, two, three, trying to defend here. And snares on the frost worms, keeping them down to the ground. Worker will town portal out as Franzi town portals in. I think that was Worker. That worker town portaled out. I believe so. Indeed it was. I'm confused there for a moment. Warcraft 3 multi-team replays. Always a little bit hard to follow. Fortunately, there are some observers in this match, so I can follow it as an observer, and I can actually make the teams separate colors. If there are no observers, I can usually only make one team red and the other team a various colored team. Right now, Team Yellow doing okay, and everybody's gold mines doing just fine. No expansions for Team Teal, and just one for the Scourge here, but uh, that is because he lost his main base, so basically no expansion. I will see if he decides to make another tree, as that uh, gold mine is open, has plenty to go, and it would be definitely worthwhile to grab that 7,800 gold or so in that mine. Now Worker's base in a bit of trouble here, loses a burrow or two, and we'll lose some peons in the mess, and Happy will just barely make it alive. A town is under siege. Expansion under attack once again, foggy in the middle of it all, and a town portal coming on in, and Huntress is going to shadow meld. But Dust of Appearance sees them all and will lose a good number of Huntresses on this. Franzi's coming in with all the Headhunters and backs them up momentarily. Probably could have got off another attack or two safely and taken out one or two more Huntresses there, but uh, Foggy loses a good amount of Huntresses in that engagement. And Franzi's in the middle of it all, war stomping and getting quite a bit of units in that war stomp. Level 6 Torrin Chieftain, even if they take him out, he's just gonna get back up and will be able to stomp even more. And another good stomp there, takes out a bunch of units, or rather stuns a bunch of units, as it doesn't do too much damage. Torrin Chieftain says, screw that, I'm getting back up. And we'll have another war stomp to go around. And Team Yellow facing a lot of casualties right now, and will be routed away from the expansion. Foggy in trouble here with Keeper of the Grove and Entanglement on the Keeper of the Grove. And Worker now in trouble. No mana to Windwalk will lose the Blademaster. And Team 
Teal GGing out, leaving Team Yellow our winner. One, two, three, Franzies and the Scourge our winner. Pretty good game overall. Thought that uh, Team Yellow was losing that for a while, but that engagement at the end there was pretty bad. Uh, Foggy thought he could shadow meld his units, couldn't get him out. I think he should have probably just ran him out rather than shadow meld. Long came the dust of appearance, lost way too many Huntresses unnecessarily. But a pretty good game overall, and heroes all fairly even, except for this uh, Keeper of the Grove. That is definitely way off. Very, very low hero level for Foggy there. Not sure what happened overall in the game, as I had to watch everybody, but only 600, 618. Oh my god, fucking is hard. 618 experience on the Keeper of the Grove there. But hope you guys enjoyed the replay, and I will see you guys next time.